In this video, we will examine how to delete a value, and in fact, the entire node containing that value, from a binary search tree. The key thing to think about in deleting a node from a binary search tree is that uh, we will need to promote someone into the place of the node we're taking out. For example, if we were to delete 9, we uh, must have something in the place of the 9 or we can't retain the structure of the tree and the contents of the rest of the tree. So, there are three cases here. The first case is that we're deleting a node that does not have a child. This case is simple. In this case, there's no one to uh, promote up into the place of the node. So, for example, if we want to delete the node 12, well, we come down and find 12. So, 12 is less than 17, 12 is greater than 9, and 12 is here. And to delete it, we can just remove that node from the tree and mark the right uh, pointer of 9 as null, and voila, 12 is gone. Okay, the uh, second case is uh, that there is one child of the node that we are deleting. So for example, suppose that we are deleting the node 4. So 4 is less than 17, 4 is less than 9, and this is 4. If we were to just delete the 4 and not do anything else, the three would go along with it, and if there had been children over here on the right, they would go along too. So since four only has uh, children on the left, um, or a single subtree, uh, they should say uh, subtree here rather than merely kid, um, then uh, what we can do is just bring the three up into the four's place. So what we're going to do is delete the four and promote the three up to where the 4 was. And if 3 had had any children, um, then they would have still been attached as the left and right uh, subtrees, the left and right children of 3. So, when uh, the node to be deleted has no children, things are easy. When it has one kid, or more precisely one subtree, um, we just uh, bring up that subtree and then the last case, and the most complicated one, is when the node to be deleted has a subtree on each side, or I'm just going to abbreviate it here as two kids. In this case, what we need to do is we need to find a single node to promote up, and it needs to be, it needs to be the case that it maintains the ordering of the binary search tree. And in order to do this, it turns out that what we need to do is promote, actually let me mark these, nothing here, uh, we promote that kid, and here's the most complicated case, the two kids. Here we promote the leftmost child of the right subtree. So, the leftmost child of the right subtree. Uh, so, for example, if we are going to delete this 23 here, we would promote the leftmost child of the right subtree. So, first we go to the right subtree, and then we would find its leftmost child. Let me explain why this is before we do an example. So, um, we have to choose from the right subtree, because remember that nodes on the right, the node uh, that is the immediate child on the right could be equal to the current value. Suppose this was 23 and this was 23 as well. Well then 23 is what we would have to promote up here. Um, otherwise, we could clearly get the tree out of order. Um, then it needs to be the leftmost child, because the leftmost child is going to be the smallest of uh, the uh, things in the right subtree. Another way to think about this is the leftmost child of the right subtree gives us the in-order successor of that node, the node which is greater than or equal to this node. 
And that is why we must pick the leftmost child of the right subtree. So suppose we were deleting the 17 here, for example. The right subtree is over here, starting with 23. And um, if we were to bring the 23 up, then the 19 would be on the wrong side of the tree. If we were to bring the 26 up, then uh, the 19 would also be on uh, the wrong side of the tree. The only node we can correctly bring up is this 19. So we go to the right subtree and take the leftmost child. So we go right, and then we go as far left as we can until it stops, and that's who we pick. So if we were to delete this 17 here, what we would do is remove the 17 itself, being careful to hold on to the pointers to 9 and 23, because otherwise we lose all those things, and then promote the 19 up here. And now we still have a binary search tree. All of these nodes are less than 19. Well, 9 is less than 19, 3 is less than 9, 23 is greater than or equal to 19, 26 is greater than or equal to 23. So, when we're deleting or removing a node that has children on uh, each side of it, uh, a leftmost child and a rightmost child, or possibly a leftmost subtree and a rightmost subtree, then we must go to the right subtree and then go to the leftmost child of that subtree because that is what gives us the in-order successor, and uh, that is what we need to promote up. So, three cases for removing a node from a tree. One, the node we're removing has no children, in which case we don't need to promote anything up. Uh, in the book's code, what they do is they promote up a uh, pointer to null. Um, the second case is uh, that the node we're removing has one child, or rather one subtree, um, has children on one side, and in that case, uh, we promote up the uh, we promote up that child into the place of the node we deleted. And the third case is that the node we're removing has uh, a subtree on the left and a subtree on the right. That could just be a single node for each subtree. Um, and in that case, we pick the leftmost child of the right subtree because that's the in order successor, and that is the only node that is that it is guaranteed to be possible to promote while still maintaining the ordering of the uh, binary search tree.